Please give dignity to the people. Please give dignity to the people. So you worked for the commissioner, your senior advisor. You were hired two weeks ago, and you're instructed to ask us to not have any pictures taken here. Please respect the because people. Because the, the political rules. leadership at DHS does not want the American people to know it. Please respect the rules. You keep sir. standing in, in front of the pictures, Please so you don't want the, the pictures rules. taken. The rules are arbitrary, Please and they're designed the to keep the American the people, people in the dark. Please respect the rules and give the people dignity and respect. That's all we ask. Dignity well, no, it's and not. respect. You're asking, is this please, dignity and respect? Look at these people. Please give there, dignity and pandemic. respect to the people. Let, let I me ask you. you. There, there's a I pandemic. I respectfully ask you, sir. There is a pandemic. Is this respecting the rights of these I kids? I ask you. Please Are respect you respecting the, the rights of these this kids? This is not a zoo, sir. Please yeah. don't treat the people. You're right. And this is a dangerous place. Please don't treat the and people like this. And your policies, unfortunately, are trying to hide them. I understand you are instructed. When 18 I senators ask you came to down here, respect the people, give them dignity I respect, and respect them, and I want to fix this situation. We all want and to fix this. The administration this, sir. We don't you're want working for is responsible anymore. for these conditions. Please respect the people with dignity okay. and respect. And sir. I ask you to respect the, the people as well. This I am is respecting not respect. you. I am respecting is, the people. This is not respect. So it's past midnight. I'm standing on the shore of the Rio Grande. The water is right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border, along with 18 senators. We made the trip to see the crisis that is playing out. We've already gone to detention facilities that are overrun, many of them with families, small children. We saw multiple mothers who were nursing infant babies who had just crossed over and were being housed in outdoor holding pens where they were sleeping on the floor and nursing their babies. We're at the edge of the river. On the other side of the river is Mexico. On the other side of the river, we have been listening to and seeing cartel members, human traffickers, right on the other side of the river, waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol, because they know that under the current policy of the Biden administration, they can flood over here. They're getting paid four or $5,000 a person to smuggle them into this country. And our policies, when they smuggle them in, the Biden administration releases them. And more and more and more. Last month, 100,000 people came across the border illegally. We've got 15,000 kids in federal government custody. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's a public health crisis. The illegal immigrants who are being released, they're testing positive for COVID-19 at a seven times higher rate than the American population. And it's a national security crisis. And it's time for the Biden administration to put an end to it and stop sanctioning lawless chaos on our southern border. Yeah, see the, see the uh, shoreline right over there? Yeah, that's Mexico. And you can see there's three smugglers right there standing on the Mexican side, looking at us. They've been shining their flashlights at us. They're yelling at us. All of us today witnessed the Biden cages. What is occurring here on the border is heartbreaking and it is a tragedy. You know, as we stand by the banks of the Rio Grande, we have an army of TV cameras here. It is striking that not a single one of these cameras is allowed in the Donna facility. We requested that media accompany us in the facility. 
the Biden administration said no. The Donna facility is a giant tent city built with a capacity of 250. It has nearly 4,000 people in it. We saw cages after cages after cages of little girls, of little boys, lying side by side, touching each other, covered with reflective emergency blankets. There was no six-foot space. There was no three-foot space. There wasn't a three-inch space between the children lined up one after the other after the other. And the Biden administration is taking people who are testing positive for COVID-19 and locking them in cages side by side. This is inhumane. It is wrong. And it is the direct consequence of policy decisions by the Biden administration to stop building the wall, to return to catch and release, and to end the stay in Mexico policy.